The European Space Agency's ExoMars project is one step closer to the Red Planet, as the mission's Schiaparelli lander separated from the orbiter on Sunday to begin its descent to the planet's surface. The ExoMars mission was launched from Kazakhstan in March as part of a joint program between the ESA and the Russian space agency Roscosmos. One goal of the mission is to search for evidence of methane or other trace atmospheric gases that could indicate signs of life or geological processes. ExoMars gets its name from the term exobiology, the study of the possible existence of life beyond Earth. The Schiaparelli lander takes its name from Italian astronomer Giovanni Schiaparelli, who mapped the surface of Mars during the 19th century. While on the surface of Mars, the Schiaparelli lander will test technologies to be used in ESA's follow-up missions to the planet. Now that it has separated from the trace gas orbiter, the lander is expected to touch down on Mars October 19th. We separate not too early, so that the accuracy of landing is uh, good, but also not too late, so that we have time then to reorient the TGO and actually raise its altitude and not crash on Mars. The designated landing site near the Mars equator is a relatively flat region about 62 miles in length and 9 miles wide. If all goes well, the Schiaparelli lander will set the stage for a rover that will be delivered to Mars in 2020, carrying a drill and other instruments to perform research.